what's up everybody, it's Ridgie here, and today is a very, very special day. Today is my birthday, and I have just turned 16. And I know what you're thinking. I hear you saying, hey, hey, weren't you supposed to come out with another Richie's World because it was your birthday? And well, technical difficulties. If you've been on this channel for the past few weeks, you know how my computer has been behaving. And today, the GPU decided to turn into a strobe light. I don't know exactly what caused this, and it has gone away now, but that really did set me back in recording. But luckily, all of the footage is still there. I just couldn't record after a certain point. So Wednesday's episode is going to be a super long one. And the next thing I have to say is thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's really stereotypical for everyone to say how much YouTube has changed their lives, but it really, really has. When I started this channel, I was a grumpy 15-year-old. And even if you've seen a lot of grumpy, depressed 15-year-olds, I was a, a fine specimen. I was lonely and unhappy, and I felt like I really had no control of my future. I was going to be in school for the next six years. And YouTube really changed my outlook on that. I mean, on the outside, nothing has really changed. I mean, I suppose with this channel, I have a lot more control of what I could do in the future. And who knows, I might be a YouTuber. But the big thing that this channel really changed was my attitude. I was depressed all the time. I would just go home from school and, like, sulk in depression, and then maybe at about 11 I'd start doing my homework. But the thing is, now when I get up onto the mic, when I go to record, I have to be optimistic, because that is what my online persona is. That's the part of me that I show the world. And when I do that, I start to realize there wasn't really any good reason for me to be depressed at all. And I mean, this is just part of being a teenager. Every teenager at some point goes through something like this. It's typical, it's a phase, and you're gonna grow out of it. But the fact that I've been able to start a YouTube channel, especially so early, is just so important to me, because I don't feel trapped anymore. Now I can do something, I can post it for you guys to see, and I can feel like I'm doing something that matters now, instead of preparing for 10 years of my life to do something that may or may not matter. And to see all of the subscribers and the views, to see your channel stacking up and growing over a year is really something amazing, and to think that every single one of those 250 subscribers is a completely unique person is even more so. It's really cool that I'm getting to do something real now, because as someone in school, you don't really have a lot of opportunities to get out in the real world and to do real things. But enough deep and wishy-washy mumbo-jumbo, it's time to eat my birthday cake, and while I eat it, I have to say thank you for 250 subscribers. That is a quarter of a thousand, and we are well on our way to getting this YouTube channel somewhere. So let's set off our TNT firework, which I'm gonna show you how to build in a second to celebrate my birthday and all of the dumb, deep things I've said about it. And yeah, let me show you how to build this thing. Alright, so if you missed what was going on here before, this is a TNT fireworks cannon. And the way it works is just like a TNT cannon, the bottom TNT activates just a little bit before the top TNT, and that causes it to blast the top TNT way up into the air where it explodes, creating a beautiful little firework effect. And as for the redstone, right here we just have a redstone loop that's going to activate all the dispensers when we push this button, and then it goes into a four tick repeater, up into another four tick repeater, and into another layer of redstone that basically does the same thing. And if you missed any of that, well, don't worry, because I'm about to go through how to build this thing with you. And to build this, you're going to need eight dispensers, 13 blocks, an iron bar or a glass pane, 17 redstone, obviously some TNT, and a bucket of water. Now to start off, we're going to place four dispensers around in a circle facing into this block. It can be a little tricky, but the result we want to get is something that's going to look just about like this. And let's close the dispenser in on the last side. And there you go, we have a ring of dispensers. Make sure they're all facing inward or else we're gonna have some serious problems. From there, we're gonna put a bucket of water in the center, and then fill in the sides with blocks, just like this, covering all but this block right here in redstone. And you're gonna put a repeater here. I know, I forgot to say repeaters earlier, but you're gonna set it to four ticks, and then make a line of blocks just like this, with another repeater here set to four ticks, redstone here, redstone here, and a block right here. 
We're also going to put a row of blocks just like this, with dispensers facing inward, just like this. And believe it or not, your build is just about complete. We're going to cover the top with redstone right here, place our iron bar down right here between these two, and your build is finished. Fill all the dispensers with TNT, and from there you're just going to put a button down or any other power source, and there you go. Your TNT cannon or fireworks display is completely functional, and it looks great. Now I have to warn you, this is TNT, so there is always a potential for things going wrong. It's just sort of something you have to deal with. So every time you use this, make sure you didn't damage any of the redstone previously, and also make sure that there's TNT in here as well as in here, because if you run out of TNT down below, well, the TNT up here is just going to explode in place. And with that, I think I'm going to end this video. Watch out with that thing, because it can have some problems, as you see right there, but most of the time, it works perfectly fine. Just don't build it near anything precious. And once again, guys, thank you so much for supporting me through a journey that's lasted almost a year. At the end of August, we're going to hit a year on YouTube, and it looks like we're going to have 365 subscribers by then. Feel free to leave a like on this video, and if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button. This has been Richie, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you next time.